Good morning. It's 7.15 a.m. and I'm all packed and ready to go to the uh, broken wall. Not the remastered one, but the, uh, the original wall where it's more intrepid and you can walk. So we're heading down to the train station and then we have a two hour bus ride, which I only just found out was two hours uh, to, the, to the wall itself. And then we can start the uh, giant hike. Let's get into it. So we've just arrived at Gubei Co. This is the kickoff point for this uh, massive uh, four hour hike. So we've got Gubei Co village hiding in behind us then. I don't know if you can see, it's probably blurred out, but on the horizon there, we've got the old uh, destructed, uh, non-reconstructed version of the wall and that's where we're gonna be hiking today. So hopefully I can get some really good shots for you and really sell the, the hike and bring you along with me, but uh, let's get into it. So we're about 45 minutes now into the walk. Most of what we've just been through is just very muddy plains, uh, nothing too fancy, but now we're reaching the point where the old, uh, the older wall was rebuilt with all the uh, bricks and the uh, sheets that helped reinforce it all. So you can see in the distance, it's all starting to get a bit more refurbished and stronger and stronger and stronger. But uh, we're gonna be going all the way across there. It's uh, 35 degrees, so it's bloody hot but we have to spare water, so it's gonna be fun. And I think in about 20 minutes, once we reach the tower, I'll jump back in and I'll show you it from there. Onwards. So we've reached the top of the uh, lookout tower and I've just lost my head over the side of the bloody wall, uh, which is fine. I'm gonna have to go down and try find it if I can, but it's so cool to be able to see all that in the horizon. I'll try to focus on that for you guys. There you go, so. It's just so surreal and so intense to finally be here when all you get to see it as a photo at a theme park or a photo at a, a tourist attraction. To actually be here, standing here from a little country in New Zealand at the bottom of the ocean, it's just, it's just fantastic. I love it. Well, I climbed down the wall, got my hat back. Now I'm not gonna burn. So we're pushing on. We've already lost like a quarter of the group. Fortunately, they're super tired. So they are waiting back there at a checkpoint and they're actually gonna make their way down to a local village to uh, rest up. But no, not I. Onwards to, I think the, the, the tip of this hike is called the Nine Dragons Tower. It's a big, uh, ooh, big step, big uh, checkpoint and big lookout tower for the whole valley here. So whew, keep going. It's like a 20 minute more walk and then we've got to come back down this path and then uh, go down to the village, meet the rest of the group and have a beer, which I am so looking forward to. <laughs> yeah. So that's where we're trying to get. And the, uh, the wall just keeps on getting more intrepid and more intrepid as we go. Not quitting now. So the first Q&A of the vlog, question one is, will there be a Q&A for this vlog? No, there won't, I'm too bloody tired. I'm just gonna sit back and enjoy the view. So I made it to the top. 
This has been about a, a two hour, just above two hour hike in this blazing heat, but it's been absolutely phenomenal. I have wanted to do this my whole life. It's just something always on someone's bucket list. Now, unfortunately, we can't actually progress any further along the wall because this actually goes into military uh, compounds. This is all military locations. They've actually got currently working, uh, what do you call them, towers and outposts, making sure people don't progress into that. So backwards, down the mountain I go. And I'm sorry if there's heaps of wind in the mic. I'm doing my best to cover it, but it's a lot of wind up here, which I am thankful of because it's bloody hot. So yeah, I'm not too sure how well this vlog has turned out. It's not like my uh, typical vlogs where I can uh, fill a lot of transition space with time lapses and whatnot because it's pretty much the same every five meters here. But I hope you have enjoyed somewhat of this uh, little trip along this uh, amazing Chinese landscape with me. And I'll do some more hopefully and continue to fill the rest of the vlog up at least for another few minutes. So downwards to that beer. So we made it and they uh, threw this awesome as a uh, little party dinner of assorted food. So. Nice way to finish up a nice walk, and of course, the beer. More beers. Mm -hmm. That is honestly the best thing to do after a <laughs> two and oh, it was a four hour, four hour walk, three hour walk, whatever it was, bloody long time. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Catch you in the next one. So before I push on, I've been advised I need to check out the uh, men's bathroom because apparently it's a bit uh, different to European. So let's, uh, right, I'm just going to check that no one's in there. <coughs> oh God, I see what I've been advised. Everything's on the floor. There's no like porcelain. Oh, there's one. <coughs> okay, it sticks. <laughs> I, I can't adapt to that.